Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This must be Jethro David's house. Yes. This is Jethro's residence. Oh, nice. I got the address from his company. Oh. Good. Well, I am Dr. Cassie. Oh, okay. You must be his sister because I can spot the resemblance. No, darling. I, I am not his sister. I am his wife. My name is Amanda Davids. So how can I help you? His wife? Mm -hmm. You didn't know he was married? Actually, we got married nine months ago. After the wedding, he disappeared. No calls, no messages, nothing from him. I... I had to go to his company to get this house address. Um, oh, oh, hold on a minute. If I heard you correctly, you are Jethro's wife? Yes. You got married to him eight months ago? Exactly. And you got the address from his company? Yes. Are you joking right now? Jesus Christ. Cassie. What, what are you doing here? What do you mean? What the hell is she doing here? No, Jethro, make it make sense. Make it make sense to me that while I was here worried sick about my husband, not knowing where you were, not knowing if you were alive or dead, crying my heart out, thinking to death you were somewhere getting married to this woman. No, make it make sense to me that whatever she came here to tell me is a lie and not the truth. I can explain. Explain what? Explain why you lied to me. I asked you. My sister asked you. You said you were single. You got married to me and left me behind for good freaking eight months. Calm down, all right? Calm down. I know your emotions are high right now. Really? You destroyed my life? Now you're telling me my emotions are high? Are you out of your mind? Oh, God. I... oh please shut up! Shut it! You what? No, you what? And you, young lady, I don't know what your plans are. I don't know what you guys discussed, but if you think for one minute that you're moving in into this house with me, then think again. Because this is my house, my husband's house, and I will not have you, the concubine or the mistress, moving here with me. There is no room for you here. We cannot coexist. Now get out. Point of correction. I am the wife. You are his mistress. So get your feet and get out of my husband's house. Oh, that was a bigger name. You know what you are, darling? You are a side piece. Now take your wicked self out of the house. You are a will, will you tell your slut to get out of the house? Why are you just a fire? Can you two just calm down so we'll find a way to solve this problem? Solve our problem! Shut up! What was my offense? Was I not good enough? No, was I not... Am I not a good wife to you? I, I really need you to answer these questions because I am clueless as to why you would do this to me. So I need you to tell me what was my offense. What did I not do right? 
Oh, really? Because if you, if you tell me, I, 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 I might try to understand. I'm sorry, babe. I'm truly sorry. You see, the thing is, I... I was lonely at the moment, and I... I needed company, and that... That's it. She needed company. Tetro, you are a married man and you needed company and you didn't think it right to bring your wife over to wherever you are to keep you company. Well, make it make sense because I do not understand how you would be lonely like you said and then you want company, you didn't even talk to me, you didn't even ask me to come, let it now be that I said no. But what you thought right to do was to marry someone else somewhere just because you were lonely. Well, that's bullshit. That is complete bullshit because I know that you are lying. You were not lonely. You did not need company, but rather you are selfish, you are deceptive, you are evil, and that is why you could do this to me and now you're telling me this lie. Everything you just said now is not the truth. This is a lie. How can you see a thing like that? You don't know me more than I know oh, myself. Please. Thank God heaven is aware that I do not know who you are. I don't know you. Jethro, I don't know you because I don't know who is sitting here before me telling me this, this, this nonsense. This is not the man I married. This is not the man... I said yes to this is not the man I promised to spend the rest of my life with. This is not the man I promised to spend the rest of my life with. This is not my husband. I don't even know who you are. I know nothing about you. I only regret one thing in my life. As of this moment, I have only one regret. In my life. And that is ever meeting you, Tetru. I regret that we crossed paths. I regret that I met you. I regret that I said yes. I regret that I married you. I regret that I am Don't your wife. Don't say that, darling. Please. Don't let your anger see things that we will regret all our lives. Don't touch. Don't come any closer than you already are. As a matter of fact, Jethro, just get out. I said get out, please. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Why are you doing this to yourself? You should have called me before coming. You came into my life. You deceived me. You promised me. You lied to me.
I show up at your doorstep. And you're telling me I'm supposed to call you. Haven't I been calling you? Did you pick my calls? Why didn't you tell me you were married? Why did you lie to me? Why did you marry me knowing fully well that you were married? You messed my life, Jethro. You took advantage of the fact that I fell in love with you first. I love you. Right back. Listen, I married you because I love you differently. Don't you get it? How many women do you want to know? How many? Don't make this more difficult than it is right now. You see this mistake? You just made it will never end well. Mark my words. My khaki. Jesus, can I have my khaki, please? All of us getting in the car today. Alright? You both need to learn how to coexist amongst each other. Jethro, you have no right to tell me who to coexist with. Yes. Because when you were going to marry this thing, Wait, you will not call me thing. Me. You did not take permission from me. You didn't tell me about it. So you have no damn right to tell me who to coexist with. You think you can just go out and cheat and expect me to be okay with it? Well, I am not. I am hot. You hurt my feelings so deep that I am on fire right now. You have lit fire on my head and get ready. Well, listen, Jethro, I am going to lit your ass and I'll make this house uncomfortable for you. Idiot. Let me have my car keys. I'm downstairs. You see what you have caused? You lied to me, Jethro. Now your secret is in the open. You will learn to live with the consequences of your actions. Don't worry. This is just the beginning. This drama going to stop already, or you must lose your life before you have sex. What is wrong with you? Bro, I'm tired. I'm frustrated. I mean, I can't have a moment of peace in my own house. You see the way these women are trying to tear themselves up on my account? <laughs> ah, you brought this upon yourself, bro. I mean, you brought this upon yourself. One woman is difficult enough, then two? Are you kidding me? Two? I know a woman is very difficult to handle, but then it's a job at a time. Alright? You know I'm not always around. I'm always traveling from one place to another. <sighs> Bro, exactly. I'm a man. I'm a man. I've got needs. Alright? I've got needs. Exactly why you're meant to just date this women and move on. Must you marry everyone you date? But well, you're making life complicated for yourself. You mustn't marry them. You just date them 
and leave them. The worst part of it right now is that I've lost my job. I mean, I feel so bad right now because it's like dedicating all your life to a job has got more disadvantage than advantage. Ah, Jethro, I... It's a pity you lost your job, but then, bro, I must tell you this as a friend. Some women are as deadly as vipers. You know, we sacrifice everything for them and we gain nothing in return. Sure. I mean, you sacrifice your, your, your private life, your, 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 your friends, your family, your, your job, you know, your social life, all for nothing. They will still do what they know how to do best. Which is abandon us. Bro, you just have to relax, take it easy and then just find something to do. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try, bro. And this is bad, bro. Very bad. Very bad. Um, madam, you need to stop talking. Your blood pressure is very high. Are you mad? Like... Yo, are you okay? What, meaning what? So, are you indirectly telling me I talk too much? Do you know me before? Like, your blood... They send you. It is your own blood pressure that is high. Come, come, come. Are you in any way related to this witch? But what are, are you I doing now? You are talking too much. They said you are talking... Are you people. okay? Why did you talk too They call this woman, are you mad? She's right! No, why did you, you talk, talk too me? much? Parrot! No, why did you touch me hmm. now? Are you mad? Ah, this woman, this woman. Your shame, your shame. Ah, no, your own shame needs to cover you. You're mad. But you've not seen anything. These people will kill you. You've not seen anything. go kill you. No people can go kill you. Idiot. You've not seen anything. Yeah, you see, I will kill you. I will kill you before you think of killing me. Jethro is mine. Nobody is taking him away from me. Jethro is mine. And please let me school you in case you don't know. Before you ever met Jethro, or know, know there is somebody called Jethro in this world, he has been mine. And you, you're too small. You can't take him from me. He's yeah. mine, and he can never be yours. Why am I even wasting my strength on somebody who is not necessary? Anyway, can you see anybody here? Because I think I'm talking to a spirit. You're mad. <laughs> you are mad. Parrot, too. Anyways, thank God I'm pregnant, though. I don't have time for negative energy. I'm so sorry. None of you is pregnant. Oh! Mm. Excuse you? Mm. What do you mean none of us is pregnant? I'm a doctor. When I say I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. Do you know how long I practiced? Do you know how many years it took me to become a doctor? Mm. I am a licensed doctor. Mm -hmm. I've done masters, I've done everything. Mm. I have saved lives. You, what degree do you have? Mm. Huh? Hey. You should be a quack doctor. Please go and get me the real result and stop giving me fake things here. My darling, don't strike you. You want to report to this person. No, no, no. You want to report to somebody who was once mad. These are symptoms of madness. You cannot cure a madman completely. These are symptoms of madness. She used to be mad from too much abortion as a quack doctor. Abortion quack doctor. Uh, quack abortion I, doctor. I, I, don't I studied. I have my study. I have your father's backyard. Your father's backyard, after dealing with people's children, after aborting and destroying people's womb, God finally took your own out. You're here attacking and pregnant. What Me? Anyway, I don't blame you. You see, this is still finish. If I had not come to that, your stupid house, I would not be receiving these insults. I don't blame you at all. Hey! Me! God has the way of making our enemies confess. Finally, you're saying the truth. If you did not come to snatch my husband, how would I have met a mad woman like you? Would we be having this conversation? No, we wouldn't. 
You are the one that brought this upon yourself. Amanda. You have not seen anything yet. My darling, please. I would like to have a conversation with you on how to go about idea. I would like to have one. Remove your fire broad first now. The fire broad is blocking the way. Remove it, the tree. Remove it first. And cook your ovaries. Cook your ovaries. Say ovaries. Yes, they will remove your fiber and see how it goes. Go and take care of your own. Go and take care of your own. Go and take care of your own. Are you thinking I have to cover it? Remove it. Let us see the fiber. Let us see the fiber. Somebody wants to fight. Who is this better self here? Who is this better self? You're not going to. Let's not do it. If I blow you, if I blow you. You're my mother. It's good you're fixing the bird. When you're done, please excuse us. What have you been smoking? No, what have you been on? Are you high? Are you alright? <laughs> what do you mean by us? No, who is the us? Excuse us as as who? Why don't you understand? I want to spend the night with my husband. Turn the fire that mouth you used in saying it. You see that mouth you just opened and jack jack thunder strike you there. You must be mad. You must be stupid. Do I look like your mate? Who is talking about mate here? This is my matrimonial bed. And I'm going to spend the night with my husband. So when you're done, leave. Oh, really? Your matrimonial room? Well, let me school you, young lady. Before you came into this house, this was my matrimonial room and it's still my matrimonial room. Do you understand? The fact that I allow you palambulate in this house, eat whatever you like, wake up in this house does not give you the right to come in here and talk rubbish to me. Are you mad? Are you insane? Don't you know you're supposed to be thanking me for the hair you breathe? Don't you know you're supposed to be thanking me for moving around freely in this house? I can see you're beginning to cross your boundary. I can see you're beginning to cross your, cr cross your lane. But I'll put you in your place. You know what? I am not here to exchange words with you. Thank your stars I'm in a good mood today. If you push me into my bad mood, you will know like what will come out of it. Oh, really? Yes. Please, I want to see your bad mood. My darling, please, I would like to see you in your worst state. No, you see that mood you're talking about, I would like to see it. So tell me, what do I do? Should I, what should I do to push you? Mad. Should I slap you? you no, mad. you're the one who is mad. You are mad. Only Allah. Jethro and I will get into this bed and we will sleep on this bed. As a matter of fact, we will make love on this bed. Jethro and you will sleep on this bed. This bed, my darling, the only place you're sleeping on tonight, if you're not careful, is in the jail. You're sleeping on a bed in one of the cells in police station. Try me. Let me see you on top of this bed. Get out of here. What are you doing? What are you doing here? Get out of the bed. Keep the bed. I don't know where you picked her up from. Mm. Tell her to respect herself. Mm. Walking in here to tell me to walk out of my matrimonial bed that she wants to spend the night with her husband. And who the hell is she mm. to tell me that? Oh, please. Huh? He is my husband. Hmm? So shut your freaking mouth. Oh, you idiot. Yesterday you slept with him. Tonight it's my talk. So take your cheapest and get out. Why, 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 why in God's name are you women doing this to me? Can't I have peace in my own house? No! You can't have peace. You think if you don't give me peace, you have peace. Uncle, there is no peace for the weekend. There is no peace for you in this house. Try me. Amanda, get through. Get into the bed. We're enjoying ourselves tonight on this bed. Thank you for making the bed for us. Baby, please come. Come, let's enjoy ourselves. Baby, please come. Come this place. Leave this place. You want to die. Leave this place. You want to die. You want to die. Know what you two think we can do to solve this problem now? I am spending the night with you. So am I. So you two ladies are suggesting we have a threesome, right? 
I don't have a problem with that. But I am not going to leave this room tonight. Of course, you will not have a problem with threesome. Because you're used to it. Hapuna Puna. Harlot. Mm. Well, I'm not doing threesome with anybody. Send this thing out of my matrimonial. No, you bed. will leave this place. Send her out of my matrimonial. You room. will get Don't out. Don't try me. In on Najak. In on Najak. You shut up. 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 Come and sleep with sleep him now. Let me sleep. No, come and sleep no, with sleep him. Sleep here now. Let me sleep. Eh, two of us will not sleep here. with him. Sleep here. Let me Both of us will not sleep with sleep him. Sleep here. Let me okay. see. Okay. No, let me see you sleep. Close oh, yeah, that no. eyes. You two come Close and sleep. Close that eyes. You two come and sleep. I will not eat your. You will not eat your. I will block your eyes. I will chop your neck. I will eat your tongue. I will eat your neck. I will eat your neck. Try me. 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 Try Beautiful residence. Wow, beautiful lady. Oh my god, your hair is so. Excuse you. No. Who are you? Oh, before that, is this Jetro's residence? I just asked you a question. Who the heck are you? Anyway, tell Jetro I'm here. Who the fuck are you? Tell Jetro Carol is here. And who the hell is Carol? Well, if you must know, I am his wife. Mm -hmm. His what? Why? This nonsense going on. Hey, 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 hey. Enter your car. Get out of this door. Are you mad? I said, get in. Get in that door. And drive out of this place. Are you mad? How dare you send me away from my husband's house? This is my husband's house. Hey, hey, hey man. Which husband? Uh, you smoke it, bo. Huh. Eh? Huh. First, you drove into this compound without permission. Secondly, you had the guts to want to touch my hair. Are you stupid? In Apuala? Eh? You don't get respect. You want to move into where? My husband's house. Hey! Which husband? Which stupid husband are you talking about? Because I allow you to sit in my husband's house and smoke nonsense and you think this place belongs to you. Now, you know what, young lady? You get into that box. Yours is easier. Just get out. Mother bless and you. And you go in there and pack any rubbish that belongs to you because I think I'm becoming too lenient for the you two of you. I said, you I said get out. Hold on. I will change out for you. I will change out for you. Are you not? Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Please. Now, I want to understand something here 
because I'm confused. You are his wife. Yes, his legal wife. The first. The second. Who made you second? Oh, please, shut up. Who made you second? And that Husband means snatcher. I'm the third wife? Before uncle. Oh, my darling. You can't look that way. So respect yourself and get out. Because so advice will not contain you. Oh, 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 sweetheart. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't do that here. <gasps> you know what? Just get into your car. Cry while you're driving home, okay? Well, you're just moving. Just, 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 Leave me alone! Uh, did you, did you, you know what? Get your stupid ass off me! Oh, okay. You know what? For the first time, this will not need to make me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, please do that now! I was trying to digest the idea of two women. Now three? Come on, bro. This is crazy now. Listen, I need your help. I desperately need your help right now. How can I help you? I mean, I don't even have a wife. I'm yet to get married. How can I help you with three women, three wives? If anything goes wrong, bro, I'm going to die. I will die. I need your help. Jethro, how did you get yourself involved in this mess? How? It's a long story.
Please, sir. Please, Sorry, please. I had to pull out this time. If there is a situation in our site in Kogi State, you will have to go there tomorrow morning. Um, sir, I, I just got married today. Will the whole world go to sleep because you got married today? Or you are no longer interested in this job? No, sir. I didn't say that. It's all right. I will, I will move immediately. Thank you very much, sir. Today was our wedding day. I'm truly sorry. I still don't understand what you're trying to say. We just got married today. It's our wedding night. And you're telling me you're traveling tomorrow. Chetro, it's not making sense. I mean, I don't understand. Is this some kind of joke or something? It's not a joke, darling. I'm an engineer. And my job comes first. Oh, please, damn your job. Damn you. Damn everybody. What are you trying to say? Okay, what am I supposed to do? No, make it make sense. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just sit down and do what? We've not even had time to consummate our marriage and you're telling me you're traveling. It's not making sense. Don't you see it? Amanda, you're an engineer's wife. Being an engineer's wife means you should understand the job. All right? I told you about this from the onset and you, you accepted it. So you should learn to live with it. And that is how you're supposed to say it to me. I mean, where's the soft tone you're supposed to address me with? I'm not here to pamper you, Amanda. You are my wife. I love you so much, yes. But I have to do this. I wish there was a better way. But there is none. Not like I didn't know this was how it's going to be. I knew from the onset that you're a very busy man. Yeah. So it's okay. But before you travel to me, at least let us consummate our marriage. Don't you think so? To my husband. A 
We've got to pack. It's a long journey tomorrow. Okay. You will drive me tomorrow. Yeah. And this is this is what I want my husband and I shouldn't be begging for him. Mm. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Get off. Honey, come on. It's just 5.30. This is too early. Don't you think so? Oh, oh hey. Ah. Days like this will come. They will come. You just have to learn how to live with it and develop a thick skin for it. Babes. We just got married. Our wedding was yesterday. I know. My profession will not go to sleep because we just got married. Neither will engineers go to sleep because they are married. I just got transferred. Okay? I need to go there, settle in, and then send for you. And for how long am I supposed to follow you around everywhere you go to? For as long as you're willing. But if you ever get tired of that, you just let me know and I will then get you somewhere comfortable to stay. But come on. I thought we had an agreement. For better and for worse. Maybe. Come on. How am I supposed to stay without you? Mm. The more you will learn. What do you mean I'm going to learn? How am I supposed to learn? I mean, you will learn the hard way. <laughs> Come on, I don't want to believe it. Okay, so you're using the yoga and learn the hard way of me. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> I just. So bro, you just got married yesterday and how is it with your wife? I brother, she's not taking it so well, you know, but um, I have a job I must answer to anytime time before. Yeah, you know, I can imagine how, I can imagine how, um, what she's, I mean, what she's passing through right now. You know, marrying an engineer seems to, seems to make it very, very unstable life for, for, yeah. for her, you understand? I told her we, we had this discussion earlier before we got married. But then she was too she was so carried away with the love she has for me. Or she has for me right now. You know? Right now she's living with her choices, so what to do? Of course she she she, she is. She is. But she, she has to understand that life is very, very hard. Life itself is very, very hard. And I am I am I am very, very I'm very, very concerned about my mental health. Stella, can you imagine? Can you can you just imagine? I, I, I didn't even spend 24 hours with this guy. One full day, I didn't get to spend it with my husband. Huh? He told you duty calls, right? Of course, what else? What I told you. I told you when you guys were dating that you have to prepare yourself for this. Stella, I know you did. But I mean priority calls. You do, you, 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 he, he's supposed to have priorities. His job is equally a priority. Come on, my friend. When you guys were dating, I told you he's an engineer and there's a tendency that he must not always be there for you. Hmm. You know, you're aware. But you are so excited about getting married to an engineer uh, that is so handsome that you forget the little things that matter. 
come on. You know that this guy works in a construction company. His company needs him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you equally need him. But his company needs him more. Oh, thank God you know I need him. That's the more reason you have to un be understanding. Okay? Stop all this whining. Let's face reality. Listen, Stella. Before I got married to him, I had an idea of what his life is like. And I had an idea of what life with him, married to him, would be like. Do you understand? But my problem is, on our wedding night, babes, like after the wedding, when people are expecting you people to do the do, something more important than doing the do came up. I mean, it's not funny because we didn't even get to consummate our marriage. All of a sudden, something came up. Night that we were supposed to be performing the... Ah, oh, come on. Babes, I beg, I beg. It's, 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 it's unacceptable. It is. I understand. But it is what it is. And you have to learn how to put up with it. Hmm. Huh? I, I, wow. After all, you have yourself a hardworking and a handsome man. Hard luck, my friend. Hmm. Uh, uh, excuse you, hard what? Hard luck. To who? To me. Uh -uh. My name does not go together with hard luck. Rather... Good luck. Mm, please correct yourself. Okay. Correction. Accepted. Good luck, my friend. Yes, At sir. least you got yourself a handsome and a hardworking man for uh, that matter. Well, on that aspect, you are correct. I got myself a very handsome man and a very hardworking man. That is why he could afford a stone like this. I see. A stone like this. So you have I've to been, cheer I, up I stop, I stop whining now. Eh? Uh, it's just I'm not whining anymore, but really, we have to do something about this, this whole work, 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 work thing. You are safe. Is this a premonition? God, please, please let nothing happen to my husband. 
I am too young to be a widow. I am barely a day old in this marriage. I can't, I, I can't lose my husband. Please, keep him safe. My son, my son, don't go like that. Please don't go, my son. Ah! Save my son! Save him. Save him, my son. Please save him. Save 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 Maxwell. 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 Save 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 To answer your call now. Yeah, answer your calls. This is too early now. It's too early for me to be feeling this way. Don't you now be bothered? What kind of nonsense is this? Somebody's wife is calling her husband and he's not picking up. Is this right? Take care of Maxwell. Maxwell is being attended to. I need to treat you too. Go, go. Make sure he's fine first. I, I, I don't want anything to happen to Maxwell, please. Please. Please come with me. Stand No, no, no. Young man, you're not doing good. And you need to be attended to right now. Where is Maxwell? Is he fine? Has I will he... see Maxwell in a bit and come back and treat your wounds. Please get on. Max, you'll be fine, alright? Just take care of my mother. Take care of my mother. Please. Max, stop saying this thing you're saying. Stop, stop it. You, 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 you're scaring me. I'm, I'm not going to take care of your mother because you'll be here to take care of your mother. You, you, you do that better than me now. No, don't, don't tell me that. What do you mean by take care of your mother? Stop saying that kind of thing. Just relax, you'll be fine. The doctors are doing their job, and I am sure you'll be very, 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 very fine. Huh? I can't remember the things. I 
Come on, respond. Come on, Maxwell, please. Look at the man. Maxwell, try and bear the pain. It's just for a while, okay? We're in a very good hospital. They'll take good care of us. We'll be fine. Don't, don't worry. We'll be fine. You don't need to ask me to take care of your mother. You don't need to when you dare to take care of your mother. But don't tell me that. Alright? You'll be fine. Maxwell. Oh my God. Maxwell. Maxwell. Ma Maxwell. Maxwell, please don't do it. Doctor! Maxwell, please don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, please. Doctor! Maxwell! Maxwell! Maxwell, wake up. Maxwell, wake up. Wake up, you're going to take care of your mother. Maxwell, wake up! Doctor! Maxwell! Maxwell! Doctor! Maxwell, don't do this. Don't do this. Please, please, please. Maxwell, Maxwell, please, please. please. Doctor! Doctor! What's going on? No! What? Maxwell! Doctor! 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 Maxwell! Maxwell, please don't do this. Maxwell! Maxwell, please! Doctor! Doctor! Oh my god! Amanda! Amanda! Oh, Stella. Please don't take you. Babes, what is it? I've not been able to reach your husband. What happened? I've been calling, it's ringing, but it's not picking up. <sighs> maybe he's calling us now. Or maybe he's not even hearing the phone ring. Give this man a slack. He's on transit. He didn't hear the phone ring. Obviously. <sighs> Babes, you know me. You know my spirit of discernment is high. When I feel something, I am always right. Right about now, I am telling you something is definitely wrong. All is not well. Something is wrong with my husband. There is nothing wrong with your husband. Okay? You're just being plain negative. I am not being negative. I'm just telling you how it is. I am telling you how I feel. Can you hear yourself talk? The man is obviously exhausted from his trip. Hence the reason he's not hearing his phone ring. Look at the brighter side. Oh, really? He's obviously sleeping. Okay, hold on. Take a look at this. Did you see how many times I called him? Is he dead? Like, no matter how, how deep asleep you are, you should hear your phone ring for this number of times that I've called him. Come on now, you the one talking. Okay, it's alright. Eh? His phone is obviously on silent. You self, when they sleep, when they enter deep sleep, I know how you put your phone on silent. It's not this deep. But like you said, I'm going to wait. After some time, I'll call again. Just have faith, okay? <laughs> have faith and stop being negative, that's all. Huh. Maxwell. 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 Maxwell.
What is it? His number is switched off. I mean, Stella, he switched off his phone. He cannot switch off his phone. His battery is probably dead. That is the point. No, that exactly is the point. Because his battery can never die. No, his battery can never die. It can never run low. <laughs> Stella, I know the man I married. I know. I know my husband. He can never allow his battery to die. This is why I am telling you there is something wrong. Something is definitely wrong. Stop thinking negatively. There is nothing wrong with him. Okay? You're just getting yourself overly worked up. Calm down. And that's the problem. No, Stella, that is the problem because I just got married. So why am I already worried about my husband? Am I supposed to be going through this now? Calm down. This is not fair now. Calm down. No, it's not about calming down, no. It's not about calming down. I am telling you that something is wrong with my husband. You're telling me calm down. There is nothing wrong right with him. Okay, it's all right. Let me try. Maybe I didn't do it well. Maybe I got, I, I got it all wrong. Same thing. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Okay? You worry too much. What do you mean I worry too much? But that's the point. I am worried. Oh, God. Come, 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 come. See, okay, fine. Can you please allow him to get to his destination first? Then we can now make proper investigation. For how many hours? No, how long is the journey that I have to wait one week? to get in touch with my husband. It's okay, just calm down. We'll keep trying, okay? Calm down now. Thank you. Where am I? You were in the hospital. Did you forget? Thank God for that doctor who gave you blood. I'm sure you feel a lot better now. Blood? Yes. We couldn't find your blood type, so she donated her blood to you. Who is this doctor? She's Dr. Cassie. She donated her blood to you and made sure that you are alive. I'm happy you came around. You have been in a coma. Just can I get to see this doctor and take care of that? I will. I will check if she's unfit and tell her you're awake. Thank you. Thank God you're awake. How do you feel? I'm fine, thank you. And who are you? I'm Dr. Cassie. Oh. You are the doctor of the limited blood to me. Technically, yes. Well, there's nothing technical about that. Because if you're the doctor who the limited blood to me, that simply means you are the one who saved my life. But bigger than that, I just cannot believe that the blood of a beautiful woman like you runs in my veins right now. Are you kidding me? You're just gaining consciousness that you want to flirt? Well, you can call it whatever, but being sick will not stop me from noticing your beauty. Thanks for the compliment. Most importantly, I'm up here awake, so how do you feel? Obviously, I feel good with your blood running in my veins. Or don't you feel good in your own skin? You sure have a way with words. But this is a hospital. Flattery will not take you anywhere. It might not take me anywhere, but it will surely gain me a smile. I wouldn't it? Uh, 
I just saw you smile. <laughs> okay, it's obvious you're better now. I'll just check your vitals and then we'll proceed from there. Oh, no, doctor. I... I don't feel good. I don't feel better. You don't, you don't feel better? What's the problem? The problem is if I accept to be fine, you will obviously discharge me. And when you discharge me, I will not get to see your beautiful face again. Let me just check your vitals. Honestly, what happened to his friend really affected him. So, what do we do? He needs to come for the therapy. That is the only solution. You know, when it comes to therapy, not everyone wants to go into it. I understand. But you need to talk to him. It is for his own good. And he has to do that fast. Yes, his mental health will be affected. Badly. For what? I'm not mad. Look, Jethro. Therapy is not for mad people. It's a mental state. We need to understand why you feel what you feel and why what is happening to you is happening to you. We really need to act fast, else your health will degenerate to us. I don't want to do this. You have to do it, please. It's for your own good and for the good of other people in your life. And what do you mean by other people in my life? Look, let's not go into that detail yet, alright? This therapy is just a few sections. You will decide whether to go further or not. I'll do it on only one condition. By chance? You have to come with me. Look, this is personal. It's a private thing. It's either you come with me or I'm not going. Okay. That is fine by you. Let's go. I bought another phone. The company relocated me and everything seemed alright. And I re-established contact with my wife, Amanda, but for some reason, I wasn't feeling that connection anymore. The only thing that flooded my head was Cassie. It got to a point that when Amanda calls, I don't even pick or find a reason not to talk to her because I wanted to give Cassie all my attention. It wasn't long before Cassie demanded security. She wanted to know where this relationship was going to, so I had to make a move. This is so wrong. And then again, I know, I know, I know that our jobs don't give us time for family. But what you did is so wrong, bro. It's wrong. Yeah, I know. I'm glad you also know that there are women everywhere. Too many women everywhere. Exactly my point. Exactly why you should position yourself to just play and disengage. You don't give them the impression that it will last a lifetime. You don't go about destroying people's lives. What is wrong with you? Steve, come on, please, please don't make me feel worse than I feel right now. Please, don't do that. Don't. You should feel worse. Jethro, you should feel guilty. I want you to feel the pain of what you've done. All wrong now. Steve, you're supposed to be looking for a way to get me out of this mess. I'm not trying to make me feel guilty for it. Come on. What are friends for? Okay, now you tell me. What about Carol? You also got lonely? Steve, you're supposed to be looking for a way to get me out of this mess and not make me feel guilty for it. Come on. Guilty is what I want you to feel, bro. You're guilty. 
You're guilty, bro. Huh? All wrong now, bro. All wrong. All I know is I am not leaving this house for either of you. Because this is my husband's house. I am his only legitimate wife and I will not be known bad. Not in this life, not in another life. So both of you, get ready to get yourself out of my husband's house. Which legitimate wife? I want to understand. So what am I? Huh? You're a concubine. Do you sense? Don't, don't call me concubine again. Don't try it. Babe, I'm not that you stupid. Fighting. What is wrong with you? Why don't you just accept your position? No, really, does your people know about Jethro? No, do they know anybody called Jethro? My darling, if anything happens to you here, you're a goner. So you don't see anything wrong what he has done? You're supporting evil? Really? I don't see anything wrong in what he has done because there is nothing wrong with what he has done. And I do not support evil, my darling. I don't. But all I know is I am not leaving this relationship because I have invested so much. I have invested so much. I have made a lot of sacrifice for this relationship for me to just walk out of my marriage. No, if I walk out now, wait till I gain. No, really, what do I gain? If you know you didn't gain anything, pack your things and get out. Because I invested a lot into that man's life. I gave my blood to save him. A vampire. Where's the patient? Easily, I see you now. I just need some prescriptions, all right? Make sure you monitor him every one hour and get me the feedback. This is my patient. I'll handle him. Let's go quickly. I'll get the prescriptions. Titi, you know I am not on call today. Oh my goodness. Is Vonny temperature? Yes. Okay, I'll be there in the next 30 minutes. But before then, please take his vitals. Give him paracetamol injection 5 mg. And ciprofloxus as in IV infusion. That will resustain him. Please keep me posted before I get there. Okay? Okay. All right. So tell me, what's the update? Oh, it's a blood type B negative. And we do not have this blood type in our blood bank. Have you tried other blood banks that we know? Yes, I have made all the calls, but they do not have it in their blood bank. And this condition is very critical. What do we do? We need to act fast. Okay. I'll go to the lab. I'm a universal donor. I'll see what I can do. Are you going to donate your blood for a stranger? Saving lives is my priority. I'm a doctor. I have to save his life. Okay, Doc. Let me tell them you're coming. I don't know who you are. But I'm drawn to you. Get well soon and leave the hospital.
Oracle this is. No, Oracle. How was it? Oracle, 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 Oracle. Fine. But I'm exhausted. Why are you exhausted? Today was quite hectic. I I went to take care of a patient who had an accident. He lost lots of blood. I had to donate mine to him. You donated your blood to him? Why would you do that? Do you know him? I don't know him from anywhere, but something pushed me to, to do it. I had to save his life. Moreover, he lost his friend in the accident. His name is Jethro. That's all I know about him. Nothing more. Don't you think he went to the extreme, donating blood for a total stranger? Sis, you taught me that saving lives is more important than anything. I had to do it. I'm a doctor. Saving lives is my priority. Oh yeah, you're right. Um, is it fine now? It's recuperating. Um, just go ahead and change. Let me get you. I was going to be really, really exhausted. Nurse, you went out yesterday to get the doctor who donated blood to me, but you never got back to me. What happened? I am very sorry. By the time I got to her office, a shift had already ended. Another doctor had replaced her, but I'm waiting for her to come this morning so I can tell her to come see you. Please do, so I can at least say thanks. That is. So, how are you feeling? I feel better today. Um, I'm just having a little challenge. I would like to make a call. Can I get my phone? Your phone? Yes, my phone. You didn't come here with a phone. You didn't come here with anything. You came with just your friend. Ah. Uh, I'm sure they must have left my phone at the accident scene. So how do I make a call, please? I can arrange for you to use a phone. Or better still, you can use mine. Alright, fine. Uh, I'll be okay. Sorry, it's locked. Oh, fine. Thank you. You can't remember the number. I think I tend to miss a number or two. Who are you trying to call? Um, don't worry, it wasn't necessary. Okay, if you say so. Let me just check if she's around. Alright. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. He said he's an engineer. Be careful. How do you mean be careful? I'm not a little shy. I've passed through that bad several. So you have to be careful. He's an engineer. You still haven't explained what you mean. HB construction comes with its own family. What are you implying? I saw the smile on your face. 
And I've seen how happy you've been for the few days you met this young man. Funny enough, you cannot go through a day without mentioning his name. I think you're liking him. That is the reason I'm telling you to be careful because they are unstable people. Sis, the fact that grandfather was an engineer and unstable doesn't mean everyone will be the same. It depends on upbringing and where they are from. Have you seen it? You don't even know him, yet you are defending him. Anyways, there is nothing wrong in having an engineer as a husband or a boyfriend. So long you'll be able to do what is needed to be done and endure what is needed to be endured. If you think you can go through it, go ahead. But if you can't, there is no point going through it. my husband's house just like that. You lie. I have come here to stay. I need Jethro to come and tell me what this madness is all about. Because I am pregnant. How? You are what? How? So you knew he was married and you went ahead to get pregnant for him. Oh, really? Are you not stupid? And who exactly are you to judge me? Hmm. Oh well, she's nobody. Who's a nobody? You. But as his legitimate wife, his only wife, I don't believe your story. As for her, I understand. Maybe Jethro lied to her, convinced her. You know, she has a fish brain, so it's easy to deceive her. Madam, so I understand. Your no, I me. understand the part no, that try, Amanda. you were brought into this house as a second wife. Uh, oh, uh, as a matter of fact, side chick. Mm, because I'm the only legitimate wife. And as for you, there is no way you will tell me Jethro did not tell you about his two wives. Because there is no man in his right senses who will hide his two wives from you. Why am I calling this girl wife? Who will hide his wife and a side chick from you? So you are lying. I put it to you, my darling. You lie. You knew about us before you took your greedy self into this place because you want to reap from where you did not sow. So for your mind now, you'll be wife. Oh, please. He deceived you if you don't know. Legitimate. Legitimate where? Legitimate. Legitimate. What are you legitimate? Legitimate. Save our poor My bed. darling, you cannot save our poor mom. Diala. So, Ishidema, the both of you think Jethro told me about you. Oh, of course. Sir. And I stupidly brought myself here to come and Fool myself with you. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Ori mi okpe ni Oh, ah, ko okpe. Ha ha. Eki ensi di. Ensi di ni. Ori mi okpe. Eh, logba. Eh, ni sensi. Anyway. Sit down. And let me school both of you on what actually happened. Which school you they go? Uh, it depends on where you mean here. The gentleman's house, I mean, right? Anyway. Just sit your asses down. And let me school you what actually happened. Well, who the hell are you to tell us to sit our asses I don't down. understand, do you? Did I hey, see hey, this hey, as a... I want to tell hey, you. Hey, oh, that's it. That's it. Money and joke, sit down. Oh, yeah, what? 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 Which kind of nonsense? Which kind of nonsense? Hey, joke, sit down and let me school you. Hey, hey, which kind of nonsense? Hey, what? Which kind of nonsense are they here for this place? You go back to Chapin, you go Ben Johnson, come on for here. What did they do on that too? Oh Jesus! Jethro. If you want yeah, you yeah, no, they make no, they take us to robot for this place. Jethro, yeah. I blame you. Look at the, look at the things, yeah, look at the things you got, you you brought into this house for me to deal with. Yeah. Yeah.
Are you all right? Huh? Is everything okay? Are you all right? Five years. Five years in a relationship and this is how Kelvin pays me back. Oh. I really love him. What he did to me aches my heart. <laughs> you know what? It's all right. Okay? It's okay. Wipe your tears. <sighs> I am here to give you peace forever. I promise you. All right? I won't let anyone hurt you again. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's a little strange and look at how you make me feel. It's all right. Thanks. It's all right, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so that's why I see they are love at first sight. Hmm? Uh, at least I get to call you to know how you're doing from time to time. All right? I'll let me have your number. All right? So what do I say, Rui? Carol. 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 Beautiful Carol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. All right. At least so, now I have your number. I get to call you all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess I'll see you again. Mm -hmm. I'll walk you down. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, tell me more about yourself. I mean, the good part. So, you mean that, um, a total stranger stepped in and made you feel wanted? Oh. Hmm? Okay. He was like a godsend at the time. <laughs> you know what Kelvin did to me now? I thought I wouldn't be able to sleep last night, but <laughs> here I am exercising. Good for you. I have always told you that Kelvin is a big time jack. But you wouldn't listen. I hope you've learned your lessons. <laughs> okay. Big time. But trust me, Kelvin will not go scot-free. I will make sure that he understands the gravity of what he did to me. I will show him why I joined the army. What do you intend to do? To take some of our boys and go and deal with him personally? Or send me and my guys to go and do that? <laughs> Just chill. I haven't decided yet, but trust me, he will not go scot-free. I will deal with that guy. Okay, let's go. Come on. Uh, Okay. Come on. 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 You're sorry. Please, I'm sorry, please. Please, I promise you this will happen again. Please, forgive me, please. Please. You got exactly what you deserve. At least next time you will know that it's not everybody that you can mess with. I understand. Please, just forgive me. I can just stop beating me. I said, shut up! Sorry, sir. Sorry. Are, you, are you mad? No, sir. Who the hell do you think you are? Sorry, sir. I brought him here so he can do it in the right wish. Eh? No, no, wait. Shut up, he! Bloody nobody. I can't believe I dated this guy. I was actually crying over over over, over this thing. Sorry, sir. Get out! I can't believe I dated this thing. <laughs> I was actually crying over this guy. Forget I was being a fool. Forget that bastard, man. <laughs> you gave that guy the beating of his life. I mean, you beat him more than I did. Yeah. I guess it was the anger that I was venting. I mean, I'm happy. 
I did. I feel very good. <laughs> Come on, look at me. Oh, that's the idea, you know. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Why? Why what? Why did you do it? Why did I do what exactly? I mean, look at me. I'm an ex-soldier. I could have fought for myself. Well, you had to go and beat him up. Why did you beat him up? Come on. Mm. Being an ex-soldier doesn't mean you're not a woman. You're still a woman. Of course, women should be protected. Especially beautiful ones like you. Oh, really? Yes, really. <laughs> I'm sure you know this fact. You just don't want to accept it. You see, I had to do what I had to do. Mm. Because men like that guy out there are the reason men like we, me, are insulted. Mm. Or have a bad name. <laughs> yeah, so I had to do what I had to do to put him in his place. Mm. Yes. So? So what? Tell me. Tell you what again? Tell me why you did it exactly. <sighs> well, I'm sure you know why I did it. I don't know. Then I'll tell you. I did it because I like you. Mm. I mean, I like you so much. That's why I did it. Really? And now you know. Oh, I think mm. I do. <laughs> well, you know, after a good fight, I think I deserve a drink. Don't you think? Then why don't I, a gentleman, mm. take you out for a drink? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm. So you come in and wait for me while I get dressed. All right. Right behind you. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Do you know, sometimes bad things happen to people just so they will experience good fortune. Hmm. You can say that again. Imagine, it's not even up to how many days? Hmm. Just a few days. I can't <laughs> even remember. And he's already told you how much he likes you. Mm -hmm. And he has proven that by going after that good for nothing Kelvin. So it's clear that he really likes you. Uh -huh. Even though I know that my sister likes him huh. too. You don't even know the big one. I'm already in love with him. Mm? Uh -huh. You what? I love him already. <laughs> I mean, after Kelvin broke up with me, you know after I caught him with that girl? The one with the... Uh -huh, whatever. I thought by now that I'll be dead. But look at me. Sitting pretty. Looking all happy. Someone just swept me off my feet. Almost. Okay. Mm. It's clear that you're happy. I mean, I know that. Mm -hmm. But please, slow down. Mm -mm. You have to slow down. I can't slow down. You have to. <laughs> Listen, I don't want your heart broken again. Mm. And for <clears throat> what we know, he is an engineer. You know their job. They are mobile. They're always moving from one city to another. So please be careful. Anyway, let me educate you. Okay. Before he became an engineer, he is first of all a human being. That Come way. on. I mean, Jethro is a nice person. He has proved it by fighting that good-for-nothing Kelvin all because of me. Mm. I know he, he likes me too. Will he still continue fighting? Don't worry. Just let's, let's leave that for I don't off. want you to fall in love. From what I'm seeing now, Jethro is a nice person. Okay, and we'll wait. Mm-mm. -uh. Oh, wait, wait until he tells you how he feels. Anyway, I'm waiting for him to tell me how yes, he feels. Yes, so we wait. <laughs> but until then, mm -hmm. don't fall. I'm falling. No, no, no. I'm I'll happy. be. Yes. Hold on. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, Ah. Wow. Nice place. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. Very nice. This is where I'm hiding. <laughs> 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 nice place we did. Yeah. So, why do you invite us over? What's going on? Um, I'll tell you what's going on. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No. Is this what I'm thinking? Of course, yes, it is. <laughs> what are you thinking? Oh my 
You know, I'm a man of few words. Sometimes it's better when things are done in a rush. I mean, it gives you the luxury of time not to think of the world. So right here, right now, I'm humbly asking you to be my wife. Let's spend forever together. You know, I've been with Kelvin for five years and I didn't gain anything. It's not how far, but how well. Okay. <laughs> it's it's a yes. Okay. okay. Okay, I have to record this. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting married. Of course, we are getting married. Okay. <laughs> Let me see that. Oh, oh, okay, you, you both should stop it. Ah! Oh, okay, it's too much, but I'll still have to record. <laughs> Let me see. Getting married. Wow. We are getting married. Yes, we are. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, kiss again. Uh, no. I, I need to come no. just give no. me a kiss, kiss, right. kiss again. Yeah. Oh yeah, more like it. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> uh, my God, this one. No? Yeah, hello, Mama. What? Mama, please do everything to keep her safe, okay? I'm coming right away. Yes, I'm coming. Jetro, uh, where are you going? Excuse me, Jetro! Can I go with you? There'll be no need for that. You can't go through all this pain alone. She's my responsibility. Alright? Don't worry, once I take care of everything, I'll send for you. Okay. Hmm? Make sure you call me. Okay? Of course I'll call you. <laughs> I love you, okay? I love you too. Take care. Take care. Tell me, did he lie to me or not? Am I the victim here or not? Both of you are seated here judging me without even knowing the genesis of anything. As far as I'm concerned, Jethro is the father of my baby and I'm not ready to bring this child up alone. Victim or no victim until you fall, you be Mugu. Just accept it. But as for raising of your child and taking care of you, if you think that Jethro will be able to take care of you and your child, think again. Because for your information, the gold mine you think you came here to dig, there is nothing there. Jethro has lost his job. He does not have a job anymore. As a matter of fact, he does not know his left from his right. The guy is as confused as you right now. What am I even saying? <laughs> you know what? Stay. Come and suffer. You want to do this. Anyway, no problem. I also lost my job. Because I wasn't concentrated. I mean, I'm pregnant. Where do you expect me to look for a job in this condition? Anyway, I've come to stay. You're going nowhere. Madam, I beg, shut up your mouth every time pregnancy, pregnancy, pregnancy. For your information, I resigned from my own job. Yes, I was a doctor. But the good thing is, I can always get a good job in any hospital. I will be able to take care of myself and Jethro 
as long as he's ready to release these two fools looking at me with the alas. Odeo! Eh eh! Oh wow! Odeo! Don't insult me! Oh. Don't insult me! Eh, uh, caretaker! While you are listing the people you want to take care of, you have to include me because as for leaving this house, go possible. I am here to stay. Choose less women. Take care of who? Look at these shameless things looking at me. Nah. When I look at you sometimes, I just laugh. Laugh what? Because you're confused. Really? You're lost. How? Your village people know say you day here. Okay. Does your village people know Jethro? Mm. No. You know, never even sabi anything. I am not ready to share my husband with any of you. Hey, hey, hey. You better get that into your head. Hey, who is your husband? Jethro. Auntie, Auntie Victim. Who is your husband? That's your husband. Because you are pregnant. Who is your husband? Who are we even sure Jethro is the owner of that pregnancy? That's if not uh, Akuna Akuna you were doing in camp. I understand you have been eager to see me. Yes, sir. What is the problem? My husband is the problem. It's been two days now he traveled and I've not been able to reach him. So I came to find out because I knew he went on assignment for the company. So I came to find out if he's okay. If the company has heard from him, if he's fine, where he is. If everything is fine, I'm just worried. If I heard you right, madam, your husband traveled two days ago, right? Yes, sir. He is on a special assignment. And I'm sure once he gets to his destination, he will call you. Um, I, I completely understand the part of the special assignment because I was not allowed to have quality time with my husband after our wedding which I completely understand because he had to go on a very special assignment, like you said. But what I don't get is the fact that I've been calling my husband since he traveled. At first, his phones were ringing. He rang and rang, but he didn't pick. At some point, it stopped ringing, which got me seriously worried. And now I came, like I said, to find out if the company knows of his whereabouts. If it's fine, if it's okay, so I would at least stop worrying. Yes, that is why I came. I understand your fear and worry, madam. But let me tell you that after 48 hours, if we cannot hear from him, we shall place a missing person alert. Um, if I heard you correctly, sir, you have not heard from my husband since he traveled. Madam, you have nothing to worry about. Like I said, once he settles down, he will call the company. And as well, he will call you. Okay. Telling me over the phone. You're traveling? Please listen. Listen, I understand everyone wants me to know this is how my life is going to be. It's okay. I get it. But what I don't get is the fact that I'll be here and I don't know how my husband is doing, if he's fine, if he's okay, and you expect me to be fine. I don't even know if this man is alive or God forbid dead. God forbid! Oh, really? God forbid. But I don't know how he is. I don't know if my husband is okay oh, or if he's not God, fine. Amanda, I understand your fears and concern. I do, my darling. But look at it this way. Just stay calm, okay? Stay calm. Even if you travel there now, I'm sure Jesu will not be happy to see you. 
the ND asked you to stay calm. Let him get across to the departmental head. Then he'll get back to you. Why don't you just stay calm and allow these men do their work? How would you tell me to stay calm? No, really, stay calm. Just sit and do nothing. When I'm feeling this un 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 uneasy. Babes, you know whenever I feel this uneasy about anything, there is something definitely wrong. I know. So you don't expect me to sit down and fold my hands and expect my husband to walk in any moment. Oh, my darling. I'm supposed to go out there and find out what is going on with this man. Oh, all right. You are right. I understand your fears and concerns. I'm very certain that Jethro will not be happy to see you there. Eh? You married an engineer. This is the life you chose. Learn how to live with it. Stay calm for Christ's sake. And so, in essence, what are you saying? <sighs> what I'm trying to say is, let's wait for one day or two. If we did not hear from him, then you cannot travel. Hmm? Think about it. Don't look at me that way. Look at you. You're traveling. Look at you. Do you want to move, move, move out? Look at the bundle of bag you're carrying. And what is wrong with my boss? He looked like you want to go and live with him there. That's why he looks. Babes are bigger, bigger, bigger. I didn't have time to start looking for a small boss. I had to throw everything into the box. Then you stress me. Stress you out. like this, they take your own therapy. I'm stressing you. You're stressing me out now. <sighs> I left my office to come through for you and you call it stress? It's okay. Oh, well, Hala, let me find trouble. So you mean I shouldn't go? Don't go. Stay put. One day or two is enough. You don't hear from me. You can't travel. Hmm? Any news? So, what happened? So, I want you to do all you can and find him. We need to know what happened to him. It is very important. Uh, please do. You asked me to come. Uh, any news? It is in respect of the information you came asking for. Okay. We have been able to reach your husband. Oh, God. How is he? His car had a little issue, but he's fine. I want you to relax. He will reach you while he can. Hold on, sir. I, I didn't quite get you there. You said his car had a little issue. And, I mean, what are you trying to say? Is my husband okay? That's what I want to know. Your husband is okay. His car broke down. Mm -hmm. He had it fixed in the process. He lost his phone. I want you to relax and be patient. He will call you when he can. Um, sir, really, uh, with all due respect, this whole thing is not adding up. I, I don't get you. What, what exactly happened? I mean, is he fine? How? Where? When? What? What, what really happened? Do I have any reason to lie to you? I'm not saying you're lying. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you're lying. I'm just saying you, you've not really told Mother. me like that. Go oh, home. Relax. Your husband will call you when he can. You are sure he's okay, right? He called you himself, like you said. Absolutely. I'm fine. Okay. Can I talk to him on the same line he called you with? 
This is not love. This is not love. Did you ever love me, Jethro? Did you ever love me? Because I am not feeling this. This is, this is not love. This is not the love you promised me. So I did the burial, after which I went home. So I'll be able to see you very well. Like, I won't care for you, Fuma. Eh? Hey, Nam, thank you very much. Eh? Thank you very much. God bless you. See, I insist that my son bring me to your house. So I will personally thank you. Eh? Thank you. God bless 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 you. Do you know what you did for us? Hi. Mba no no. Can't kill you, Fuma. Eh? Hi. Thank you very much. God will bless you. Eh? For securing a job for my son in your company, no. in your construction company, I do it. It's not everybody. It's not everybody that can do it. Eh? You are a man. Thank you very much. God bless you. Right. May God <laughs> raise people from all angles of the earth to fair for Amen. Me. Hey, <laughs> Dalo, sir. I am so happy. Dalo, mama. Uh, mama, it is, it's, it's nothing. You know, if securing a job for Maxwell is the best thing I can do for him as a friend. Why not? You know, what are friends for if not for the inconvenience? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Hey. 
This house. I hope there is a woman in this house. Oh, why not? Now. Oh, what's the problem now? I don't want to cook, Jerry. I'm hungry. Wait, wait, wait. I will go and do that. Let me go. I know where the kitchen is. Don't worry yourself. Let me go and do that. Let me go and do that. Mama, sit down. Thank you very much. I didn't mean to speak to anyone. Open it. So what is this? Am I being fired? Since you decided to embark on a vacation with us, the company's permission. You were transferred to Kogi State. Why at Kogi State you disappeared? You barely stayed at the office. From there you moved over to Lagos. Why still in Lagos? You never stayed at the office. You disappeared as well. From Lagos you came here in Asaba, you have become a problem to yourself. Sabbath, a lot is going on in my life right now. Please. A lot of us are passing through something, but duty comes. Before sell. Sir, I have a duty to carry out for my friend. But that's what I've been running around for since. Here is your psychological evaluation. It shows that you are mentally traumatized from the time you were transferred to Kogi State. You embark on a secret mission for your therapy. Even then, you didn't complete your therapy. You became a nuisance, causing one problem here and there. We can no longer control your excesses. Like I said, I. I have a duty to carry out for my friend. But that, that's what I've been doing since, please. I understand. Duty comes before self. Since you have decided to do things your own way, the company we have no other option than kick you out. So please, if you kick me out, where do I go to? Please, I beg you. I don't have any other job than this. This is what I love doing. Eh? This, 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 this is what, what I'm due for. Please, I, I beg you. Think about this, sir. Please. Please. I have just told you my mind. If you will excuse me, I'm very busy.
So, because of what Mama told you, you had to return back to your first wife, abandoning your third wife. Exactly. You are a joke, bro. I don't get it. Why do you just enjoy falling with the feelings of these women? Why got you women to marry them? What for? No, there must be a reason. What's the reason? A person says a reason. I know I'm not um, entirely right, but women are not better either. All right? They are worse. I mean, they're the same everywhere. I'm not proud of what I did, so I, I just had to pick every other relationship and went back to my wife so I don't get hurt so much. Hmm. And now that you lost your job, what do you intend to do? What next? I mean, thank God, miraculously, somehow you were able to maintain your mental health. I mean, if you allow this, con this continue in your family, if it persists, I'm afraid you will have to lose it. You will lose it totally. So what's your advice I do now? Commit suicide. Excuse me? Kill yourself. My darling, lovely sister, how are you doing and how is your day? I am not fine. I'm beginning to develop OCD. My mental health is at stake. This is too much for me to bear. Um, please, just take it easy. From the sound of your voice, I can feel so much pain in your innards. Pain? Mama, I'm becoming suicidal. Please, can't see my sister. Don't, don't, don't just go to that. Don't go there, okay? Just calm down and tell me all about it. As your only sister, I raised you when our parents died. And I know much about you. Tell me, okay? And I can give you my advice. Mama, I am trying to wrap my head around all these happenings in this house. When I came into this house, I met Amanda, Jethro's first wife. And then I saw Carol, the third wife. Mama, what is it with men and women? Is this a terrible quest for more women? It's beyond comprehension. One day I will wake up and see over 500 women in this house. And I swear to God, Mama, that day I will kill him. I will dump my license as a doctor and I will commit murder. Cassie! Cassie! <laughs> you know, it's actually very good to, to see you again. 
そうカロ I know you are mad at me for everything that happened You have every right to be But the truth is I'm truly sorry Okay, I'm, I'm sorry for everything I did So when are we expecting the fourth? Or the fifth? Sixth! Seventh! Eighth! Ninth! Or tenth! Because it's beginning to look like a hobby! Come on, it can't be my hobby. Alright, but it's not. Listen, everything happened for a reason. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. Okay? For a reason that you are not proud of, right? Exactly. So for that reason, you go about playing with people's lives and toiling with their emotions. I mean, if you had wanted a free affair, there are so many women that would have just had an affair with you and just walk away. But what did you do? You went about on a marriage spray. You got married to all of us and brought us under one roof. Wasn't my plan. That was way too far. Wasn't my plan. Tell me about it. What was your plan? Um, I hate myself right now. Come on. You don't, you don't I need, hate myself. You don't need to hate yourself. Because I am pregnant I, for you. Jesus. Please don't say this. Don't, 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 don't bring down your voice. All right? I, I, I don't want Amanda to hear this. I, I, I don't need her to find out that you're... You don't want Amanda to hear this. She's just so stressed. No, what in the name of I cannot control my manhood is going on here? Jethro. What is this? No, is this the life you promised me? No. Is this what I sacrificed everything for? No, no. no. To bring in rich rats to occupy space for me in this house? Yeah, what kind of marriage is this? So you told us one yourself. Ah, you didn't tell her you were rich rats now. So you're not what? afraid. You went to carry, marry how many wives? Did you tell me the other women in the picture? No, 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 no please. Uh, uh, um, um, what is going please, on here? Please, 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 stop. Ah! Go. Marry it. Go. Marry it. Go. Marry it. Yes. Hey, Jesus. 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 Checked, you don't have a husband in this house. Hey. Hey, you are one homeless pregnant woman who just gave accommodation that is crossing our boundaries. Yes, my darling, you're beginning to cross your boundaries. Thank mm. God you said I am pregnant. Mm. I want to sleep in my baby's father's room. First of all, this is not your baby's father's room. <laughs> your baby's father's room, I left. What am I even saying? My husband is not the father of your child. <laughs> you think I don't know? Auntie oh, see, see, see. Hey. With what you've just done this night, mm. you have provoked me. Mm. As a matter of fact, because of the good Christian mm. that I am, mm. I will allow you to sleep in this house today. But tomorrow morning, Auntie, go and look for the father of this child <laughs> and give this child to that man. Please. Now get out, please. I want to sleep. Madam, stay, stay, stay here. I said I want to sleep. Excuse me, let me, let me. Hey, you don't know, chef, for what come in? I go here where I did you touch? I just did. Hey, God. This woman, not because you're pregnant, you'll be looking for trouble uh, here. I will beat you. Uh, beat me. I will beat you. Beat me. Your child will majestically come out of the tummy. So I didn't share. 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 What? What? Come on, talk to this mad woman you call your wife. And the prodigal, uh, wayward husband finally decided to join the conversation. Tell this mad woman that I don't know where you picked her up from. 
to respect herself. I left the master room for you and your cohorts, you and your side chiefs. Still, they did not they, they did not have peace. They decided to follow me to my room. Tell her that this is not her room. We have five rooms in this house. She should go and manage any of them. If there is no room, go to the gate man's room and see. What is it? Kill them. Challenge share me. What's the problem? What you, why, why are you here? So you can, I want to sleep. Hmm. And is this the way you're sleeping? Hmm. Is this the way you're sleeping? And my baby needs his father. Excuse right. you. Let her sleep. Here. Are you Thank mad? You. No, Jethro, no, are you mad? No, I'm not. Share it out, baby. If I can change it. Where is it? Eh? Uh, uh, are you in this room? Okay, she's she's running after you. Oh. Uncle Wei, hot pants. Mm. She is running after you. Uncle Wei, hot pants. Uh, so Don't you see she's running after you? Can't you tell her to follow you to wherever you're coming from? Eh? I have decided to leave, leave this leave this wayward man for you people. Still, you people will not give me this no problem. Auntie, please follow yeah, this man and get out of this place. Let's go now. You're not here, Abi. Let's go to where you are. Eh, eh, eh. Mumu, they say go to where you are. What is going on? I want to move by sound. Go ahead, tell me. Ah, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Jethro! Jethro! My baby, get me here. Jethro! Jethro! Whoa, whoa, man. Oh, 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 Holy Mary. Amanda what? Amanda what? Amanda what? There will be no peace for you in this house. Since you have decided that I will not sleep in this house, you will not sleep either. Now get ready. My friend, get ready because this is how I will be waking you up every day of your life in this house. Useless man. I'll wake you up in the morning like this. If you sleep in the afternoon, I wake you up like this. In the night, I wake you up like this. So there will be no sleep for the weekend. Just like the Bible said. Since you have decided that I will not sleep, you and those riffraffs you brought into this house as wives. Since you have decided that I will not have peace in this house. Jethro. Jethro. There will be no peace for you. Until you leave this house for me. You stupid man. What, 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 did I, what did I do to you to deserve this? Why, 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 why would you treat me like this now? Why? Why, why, why would you pour me this kind of water? I'll, I'll, I'll wash you on top of it. That's one of them. Side, side chicks. What's going on here? Why is everywhere wet like this? Why is everywhere wet? I'm good now. Is, is it not this, this weekend yeah, that, that I just poured me cold water this early morning? Eh? Have, have I done anything wrong to have three wives? There are people out there that have over, over ten wives and they're still happy. Eh? What, what, what's, what's the meaning of this? Uh, what's the temperature of the water? Very cold water this early morning. Very cold water. You can imagine. Only cold water? Yes. This Amanda is a very stupid person. I'm highly disappointed in her. She should have poured you acid. Yes! If I was in her shoes, I would pour you nitro oxide. Useless person. Carol! Get Mopo, come and clean this place. I don't know your usefulness in this house. Caro! Get a mop. Come and mop this place. Stop looking at me. Get mop and come and clean this place. I'll be waiting for you upstairs. Anyway, I'll be waiting upstairs for you for my breakfast. Where is it? Here is what? My breakfast. 
Wait, are you talking to me? Uh -uh. Is there any other bloody civilian in this city? Of course I'm talking to you. Barack Pekin, they follow you talk. You see, they talk nonsense. Barack Pekin? I beg you, get my breakfast. Wait, which of the Barack one? The one that could not face Boko Haram, but the one that could not chest war, but can chest man. You're not ashamed of yourself. Mm. You, I stand up. You want food, right? Yes. Madam, will you get up and go and get me food to eat? Mm. Mm. You want food? Yes. Don't worry. I'll make you your last supper. Last supper, my food! Thinking is only this Cassie girl that you have to deal with. Not knowing there is equally a Caro hmm. that is pregnant for Jethro. Baby girl, huh? can't you see that this man doesn't love you? He just wanted a trophy wife and he got you. Can't you see? Look at you, you're bigger than all of this. If you're not fighting Caro today, you're fighting Cassie tomorrow. Baby girl, your mental health is at stake. It's not like you have anything to gain in all of this. Right now, you're the one paying the bills. Can you please leave this sham you call marriage and start afresh? Come on, baby girl. You're bigger than all of this. You are. <laughs> um... Stella, if I heard you correctly, you're saying I should leave my marriage. Yes! You For your mental health! I should walk out of my marriage. Obviously! Oh, really? Come on. Why? You used to be a very wonderful banker. Doing so well in the banking sector. Look at what has become of you. It's not like he, he has the money to throw around. You are the one footing the bills right now. I tell you again, as your friend, Jethro is not worth all of this pains. He is not. Cassie is, is a doctor. I can swear with my life that any patient that she is treating right now is obviously going to die. Or is it Karu, that runaway soldier? Come on. One week, one trouble. One day, one moza. Sarah, I need you to understand something. Me leaving this marriage is not possible. As a matter of fact, it is not going to happen. Because I have been here. I was here before these two riffraffs. This intruders, this invaders invaded our marriage. I have been here. I was here and I'm still going to be here. This man married me legally. In every way possible, in every place. Babes, he married me in the court. He married me traditionally. He married me in the church. So there is no way I am going to walk out of my marriage and allow two, two thieves, two intruders... Two invaders, Ndo Shidi, to take my husband. It is not going to happen. Yeah? Amanda. Amanda. As a therapist, for your mental health, that's all I care about. If you're going to be bothered about what people will say, come on. Time has, has passed when people care about what one is going if it's not working you pull out eh, 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 eh. stella 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 madam therapist i am not your patient i am not your client and i cannot remember asking for your services i don't want to have problem with you i told you just stop it you keep saying mental health mental health mental health whose mental health are you talking about Whose mental health are you talking about? You is it not? Hey, hey, did I beg you? Is your own having problems? 
Are you having problems with your pro mental health? Oh. Stop it, oh. just stop it. I bet man no transfer aggression give you. Oh. Amanda, has it gotten this bad? Has it gotten this worse? Can you stop? Can you stop? Can you stop? Can't you see the picture? What picture? What are you doing? I just came to clear my head. To clear your head indeed. Obviously, you need a mental revalidation. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? What it means is that I am highly disappointed in you. Look at you, Jethro. You used to be a very hard-working man. Look at the mess you've made out of your life. Having three wives with nothing to show for it. Jobless and useless. Look at you. I don't know why you're sounding like this. I'm not proud of what I did. At least I apologized. You apologized? <laughs> did I hear you say you apologized? Yes, I did. Yes, I can see. Can apology mend the heart and the mental health of those women you've rendered useless? Can apology fix back the lives you've ruined? Chechu, it is not all about apology. No, it is not. Those women, their lives has been ruined. Their career is at stake just because of you couldn't put your shit together. I am disappointed. Very, very disappointed. In fact, what am I even saying? You know what? Karma is a bitch. Whatever you sow is what you will reap. Get out from my house. Are you asking me out of your house? I said get out! You came to clear your head indeed. You're obviously running mad. Three wives with nothing to show for it. Rubbish. Many are mad but few are roaming. I'm mad that talking to you, you stupid. I said, go and put on the list. Yeah. I'm hot. I need to use the AC. Yeah. Go and put it on. What this guy are you talking about? Now? Did you buy any list for me? No, who owns the Lister? Mm. You want me to put on the Lister? Mm. Well, the Lister is mine. The diesel inside is mine. Mm. My darling, if you're feeling so hot, that door to hellfire is open. Sort yourself out. Mm. Excuse me. Look, I don't care. Go, go and put it on. Put on. Uh, hey. Excuse you. What did you say? Put on the list. I don't care if it belongs well, to you or I not. I will not put it on. Really? Yes. Okay. Come because across, it's mine. Let me see. You think you can now. come into my husband's house and use everything that belongs to me. And I'll just sit down. It belongs to all of us. Excuse not you. Not for you alone. Well, I'm going to ask your husband. I bought it with my money. Bought yes. Your money. Uh, yes. Who cares? Excuse me, please. Then go back and on the list. But it is hot. My darling, who got you pregnant? No, who got you pregnant? Do I look like Jethro? My friend, go and tell Jethro to take care of you. When you were taking, snatching somebody's house, I did say go snatch on thing. You were thinking you were snatching Odogu. You snatched all Diego, my hey, sister. Hey, hey, Excuse hey, me. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, what, what, what's going on here? Talk of all Diego. What, 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 what's going on here? Uh, Can't I have peace in my own house? What all this noise okay. for? Oh, please, can you tell your association of side chicks to respect themselves? Mm. Please. Mm. I want peace. Mm. Tame your dogs. For God's sake, why can't I have peace in my own house? What's going on? What's all this noise for? We just asked her to own the lister. I mean, look at me now. My baby is hot. Amanda, ah. Why? Why? why Are you this weekend? Can't you see she's carrying my child? Just oh, put on the gen so that she can and, and relax with the baby. What, what's all this did for? I hear you? Were, what did you just say now? I said she's carrying my child. My wife is carrying my oh, child. Oh, your child? Yes, my child. Is it my child? Can I ask you a question? What question? Is the list are yours? Yes, it's mine. Who bought it? This is my house. This is your house. You're all my Jethro, wife. Jethro, you're, 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 you're talking up. You're talking back at me. How? Your house, right? Yes. Buy on it now. No, no. I the list. No, no. no. I go back there. My house, my property. Oh, really? What's your problem? Then make me do it. No, Madam Susani, what is wrong with you? Did you just push me? Stop, stop, stop. No, see, this dog, 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 dog push on you. Are you pushing me? Oh, you're protecting me. No, this is your protecting me. Ah! Are you mad? Are you mad? Hey. Now I see you. You are 
Here. What are you doing on my, on my matrimonial bed? What does it look like? Are you the only one that owns this matrimonial bed? Every time I'm matrimonial, I'm like, eh, eh. <laughs> This is my room. Get the hell out. Hey. Move your things and get out of my room. Eh? Ha! Amanda. Ha! Amanda, you see me all. Auntie, I see you like to eat bread. I've noticed. By chance, one of those times you were eating bread, did you use your brain as butter? No, did you eat bread with your brain? Because if you have sense, if you have anything that looks like sense inside that coconut head of yours, you will not be here. Are you mad? Hey. Are you insane? Do you Mama want to die? Mama, Mama, Rinko. Mama Rogo. Rogo. Am I the one that you, this bloody civilian, is talking to? <laughs> Do you know who I am? Uh, 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 I am a soldier. Uh, In case you don't know, uh, 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 I go rough you. Uh, 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 I go rough you. Point of correction. Let me remind you, in case you've forgotten, you are an ex, ex soldier. Ja, anytime you want to call that soldier, add, add ex to it. You're no longer a soldier. But even if you're a soldier, auntie, I will talk to you anyhow. Like I will eat your mouth. I will eat your eyes out. You think this is this, this place is a barracks? This is my matrimonial home. I bury you. You can do nothing because this is not barracks. You, this is my matrimonial. You will. You will eat, uh, you will eat uh, me and bury me. Hey, you. Hey. 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 Amanda, hey. 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 First and the last time you try this nonsense in your life because if you do it again, Jethro, if you do it again, after everything you put me through, I will eat you! I will eat you alive! Try it again and mark my words, I will kill you! What's your child? Oh my friend, get out! Get out of here! Ah, what? I will, I will. Don't ask you! Ah! Obviously taking her for Antinental. Oh really? Of course you're supposed to take her for Antinental. Is she not your wife? Your responsibility? Well, darling, I am also your responsibility. So you have to take me to the market. Thank you. This is too much for me. I ain't fit for that shit. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa. Uh, what is the meaning of the this? The meaning of this is that you've got responsibility, mister. As your first wife, I demand and I tell you it's your obligation to take me to wherever I want to go to. Be it the market, the supermarket, the church, school, work, wherever be it. And also, if I want to go to the graveyard and to bury you, you take me there. Go to the graveyard and die alone. Nobody's following you. 
All the first wives I know sit at home and allow the second and third wives to enjoy themselves. Pretty body, baby, baby, you don't want to stay in one place. Sit your ass at home. My darling, you know the funny thing. You are a side chick, but you don't look like one. Eh. As a matter of fact, you look like a yale. Eh, see monkey, yale, see monkey. monkey. Of the house. See monkey. Look at you. Look at red you don't that even that is, look that is, that is, like a side rotten. chick. You look like a side chick. This on yourself and take it. Mm. Stupid idiot. Mm. Oh, look at who is coming. You know, it's fine. 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 Go to the sun, Jale. I said it's fine. All right. I'll take you all wherever you want to go to. Me first. Taro, calm down. Go to the back. Eh? I don't know where. If I go to that back, I will remove this again. What? You heard me. I said I will remove this again. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my Please do us all a favor. Remove it. Remove it. Ah, finally, she's saying something meaningful. Remove it. Remove it, my darling. Finally, you marry somebody with them. See, I will not sit at the back. Huh? I will never sit at the back. Well, I'm not even Just sitting so in this know. car with them. They are trekking to wherever they are going to. Right? Get down. Get down. Get down. I said, get down. Get down. Get down. What you this? What you this? I'm done. 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 Yeah. And you think it's worth it? Listen, you're carrying his child, girl. You are not going anywhere. You will stay in that house and fight for what is rightfully yours. That is exactly why I'm here. I will not have this child and bring him up all by myself. Jethro got me pregnant. He got married to me. Hmm. Huh. He must fulfill all his promises to me. He doesn't have a choice. Can you imagine? Really? So with all the promises he made and the things he did, he already had two wives. Why are men like this? Sis, since he has decided to bring trouble upon himself, he should deal with it. Okay? You are not leaving. You will stay there and fight for what is yours, or you die trying. Exactly, Daryl. I will have to fight for what is mine. You know, I've been looking forward to get close to you so I can ask you for questions. Questions about my sister? About you. About me? What is it about me? I see the way you look at me when I'm with your sister. And I sense you like me. Come on. You're with my sister. But you like me. No, you're with my sister. You know, I feel terrible when I see someone who likes me, and yet I do not do anything about it. Don't flatter yourself, Jethro. Don't, don't get it twisted. I'm just um, a bit, you know, It's better you don't open your mouth and lie. Because you're prettier when you're quiet. I 
I feel like a witch right now. Like I feel like the devil himself. I'm married to your sister. Why do you feel that bad? She is my sister. My only sister. And I do not belong to her. Listen. I like you. And I know you like me too. And we are both adults. So why don't you just listen up? You, 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 my, you're dating my sister. Let's have fun. Hmm? Yes. Hold up. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, there, man. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi. Ah. Nice face. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very nice. This is where I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice face indeed. Yeah. So, why do you invite us over? What's going on? Um, I'll tell you what's going on. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No. Is this what I'm thinking? Of course, yes, it is. <laughs> <gasps> what you thinking? Oh my god! <laughs> wow. <sighs> but, um, is it not too fast? You know, I'm a man of few words. Sometimes it's better when things are done in a rush. I mean, it gives you the luxury of time not to think of the world. So right here, right now, I'm humbly asking you to be my wife. Let's spend forever together. You know, I've been with Kelvin for five years and I didn't gain anything. It's not how far, but how well. Okay. <laughs> it's a yes. Okay. Okay, I have to record this. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm getting married. Of course, we are getting married. Okay. <laughs> Let me see that. Oh, oh, okay. You you both should stop it. Ah! Oh, okay, it's too much, but I'll still have to record. <laughs> Let me see. We're getting married. Of course. Wow. We are getting married. Yes, we are. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, kiss again. No. I, I need to capture no. this. No. Give me a kiss, kiss, <laughs> kiss again. Oh, yeah, more like it. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> Congratulations. Don't touch me. Why? Why are you not? You engaged my sister. Yet you're asking me silly questions. Is that why you're angry? Shouldn't I be? No, answer me. Should I not be angry? Listen, I'm going to marry your sister. But that does not mean I will not marry you. Do you hear yourself talk? And how do you intend to do that? I'm an African man. I have the right to marry as many wives as I want. All right? You know why? I love you. Okay? So when the time is right, I'm gonna make you my wife. Do I look stupid to you? Do I look stupid to you? What oh. exactly do you take me for? I will never promise a woman marriage if I do not mean it.
What are you saying exactly? I'm saying I'm going to make you my wife. Is that a promise? I cross my heart. I wish to die. I will marry you. No, 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 not now. Mm -mm. Don't, don't touch me. I said not now. No, not, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not right now. Husband. Oh, my husband. He said someone died though. And he traveled for the burial. But he promised to get back to me. He said someone died. Yeah. Just like that, he left. Who does that? I mean, you just got married. Hmm, that. I get, but. What can I do? He said he had to go alone. But well, he promised to get back. I just hope and pray he gets back. Like Can he you said. hear yourself talk? He said, I mean, what is wrong with you going with him to a burial? This is supposed to be your honeymoon. Why? I don't know. I don't get it. You don't get what? I don't understand. Why are you getting all worked up? Shaving are my problem. Yes, but I see no reason why he should just leave you. And travel. He did not leave me. He traveled for a burial. Please, I trust my husband. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. I trust him. Why are you getting all... Uh, why are you drinking Panadol on my headache? It's okay. It's nothing, actually. I, I just... It's just that I care about you. Mm. For your information, I am happily married. Okay? Married! And I trust him. I know. Mm. Please, uh, let's go inside. What is all this? I am worried about you. I Can't have you said zip that worry. I'm okay. Let's go inside. Can you imagine? I've been trying and trying and trying to reach him all to no avail. His phone is not connecting in any way. So what are we going to do? I don't know. But, come to think of it. We had a cut wedding, in it. Yes. But no shorty from anywhere. Including his family. Nobody. What? Oh, chill. But, I remember something. Okay. He filled his company address. You mean at the registry? Yes. He filled his company address. At least that should be a way to. Yes. 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 So you, you we should go there. I think so. Okay. Th you mean we should go? No, no. Don't, don't don't bother. Don't bother. If you want to go with me, it's fine. But I don't want to be a bother. I am going with you. Are okay. you sure? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Sad. It is so sad to know that this is the kind of person you are. I was such a fool. A very big one to have believed you. I know better now. And I will never allow my child to suffer this kind of injustice from you. Which is why you will never get to know of his existence. He is mine. And mine alone. He's mine. You're so evil. 
Fighting because of a man? I have practically become a mad woman over here. I have left everything behind. I left my work as a doctor, left everything important just, just to make marriage work. The funny thing is, I met other women here. My life is on hold. I'm not finding this funny anymore, Grandma. I, honestly, I'm exhausted. I, I'm tired of this whole thing. Okay, Grandma, okay. I've heard you. Get thee behind me. Um, sweetheart, you are not eating. You know what? Let me feed my husband. Let me feed my husband. Let me feed my baby. Uncle, open your mouth. I'll burn you open your mouth and take food. Say you're not hungry. Since when? Let me to make you marry wives. Auntie, mm. I'm talking to my husband. Yeah. So please. Oh shit, ash, 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 no. fish brain. Oh, yeah. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Don't waste my time. Ah uh ah. -uh. Mm -hmm. Kill my husband for me. What's the meaning of this? Mm. What you copy me? What you copy me? Madam, copy, copy. What's that? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Please stop it. Are you going to stop it? I said stop it. Open your mouth. What in the name of forcing of food is that? Open your mouth. Oh no 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 no. You don't get to stop it. You don't get to stop it. You will eat this food sweet as. Just take your time. Don't open your mouth. Don't open your mouth. Don't open your mouth. I said don't open your mouth. Hey, stop it. I stop it. You will eat this man. What in the name of nonsense is this? Behave yourself. You behave yourself. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Open your mouth. No problem. Yes, money. Oya. Eat your mouth, eat chicken. Eat! Eat! What am I gonna do? What, what is this nonsense? Open your mouth, my love. Eat now! Open I your mouth! Like bone. Eat bone! Open no! Mm. Hey, no wait! Nonsense! Open your mouth! Open your mouth! Uh, what, what in the name of... I want to take over is this? What is this? No, what is this? Oh yeah. Take chicken. Take chicken, Vicky Bella. You know you don't have energy. I will throw you out of this hey, place. You know you are not strong. You are pregnant. Tell me what to, take what, to boss. Take this chicken! Mm. Caro! Caro, what is that? To my water. Leave him alone. Take chicken. You see left. Oh, Open your mouth. Take. Ah, what, what is, is this nonsense? Oh, enough is enough. Rishi. Do you even want to kill him? Oh, Rishi. What is this? Mm. Jetro. I will throw you. You know, you Jetro. I, I, I hope you are happy with your life. No, this is the life you envisioned for yourself, right? Enjoy. It's the chicken. Oh, it's it's, it's oh, 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 man. You are handsome, so good, but your heart breaks. Pleasure your mind, it gives you joy. It don't care about people, emotions. He's a player, he's a player. He's a player. Everything's not a joke, if you're not a son of a boy. He's a player, he's a player. Everything's not a joke. If you're not a son of a boy, he's a player. Engineer. Everything's not a joke. If you're not a son of a boy, engineer. What is wrong with you? You want more? You don't care. You don't think before you act.
Where are you going to? And who do you expect to take care of your pregnant wife? Was? Wobi? And where do you think you're going to? Hmm? You're gone. My friend, get inside! Who think you can run away from your responsibility. My friend, get inside! If I'm not mistaken, these are a list of items. Mm -hmm. Huh? Exactly, darling. Those are list of items we want. That's our demand. Oh, well, you are our husband. You're supposed to meet up to our needs. Uh, my needs in particular, that list. Everything on it. Uh, our what? needs. Where am I supposed to get money to get all of this? If I should buy all of this, I should be spending nothing less than 3 million naira. Exactly. Are you not our husband? You are our husband, and we are Oriacles, your wives. We are supposed to be taken care of. Ah, uh, yes. When you were marrying us, you didn't know you would take care of your wives. Nah, 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 honey, come on. He's only out. When was the last time you had a job? Open and close that. When was the last time you had a job? We've been the one feeding you in this house, so it is time for you to do what makes you a man. Meet up with our needs. Yes, darling. Because I believe when you were busy marrying wives from every corner of the world, you had a plan on how to take care of them. Now is the time to activate that plan if you have it. Because you're going to take care of every one of us. Uh, yes, honey. It is not to put, put, put and shout, I'm the man. I'm the man. Now it's time to show that you are the man. Then tell this young man not to come back to this house if he does not come back with those you demands. Better not come you know back. With everything on the list. You don't have money, you're driving. Don't you think it's high time you sold this car? Because I you never it. drive rich. How can somebody be this broke and be driving a car yeah, yeah, as yeah, big yeah, as yeah, this? You're for me. You're posing, then you're posing. You're posing. Okay. I'm the man. No, I'm the man. Okay. Carrying big car, the phone. Uncle, I'm it is time to show uh, who you are. You so th think it's to marry wives? Mm. Take care of your wives. If not, to go and all wear pants. To strike you. The wife has gone. I go soon go, no. I go soon go. Go go soon go. Don't be my list. No, don't meet my demand. Mm. You will see crazy. You know, you, you, you didn't have this man. Mm. You didn't have this crazy. No, you brought out the gift to you. I will hey. not treat you. The gift is not treat you. Oh, go and go strike you. Go wear pants. Go go But your heart break You are handsome, so good But your heart break Pleasure your mind It gives you joy It don't care about people Emotions is a player Man, this one you're always parking in the street right now. I mean, you're always in my street. Do you live here? Are you now my neighbor? Bro, my life is a mess right now. My life is a total mess. Well, congratulations. You, you own all the credits. My wives are after my life. I mean, they gave me a long list of items to buy. And they told me I shouldn't bother coming back home if I do not buy everything in those lists. Bro. God, I'm tired. <laughs> you shouldn't be, bro. And buy it. What are you waiting for? You're capable now, bro. You know, I don't understand you sometimes. Are, are you are you with me or against me? What, what? I am for the truth. I mean, you don't expect me to support all the things you've done. Like gathering a lot of women and getting married to them. What is wrong with you, bro? I mean, what is your problem? Do you not know that 
marrying one woman comes with a lot of responsibilities, let alone marrying three. Three wives, Jethro. Of course, I assume by now you should have, you know, put yourself together as a man and get ready for the responsibilities ahead. Because there are a lot of tasks ahead. Steve, I give up. All right, I give up. I'm tired. This is not the life I've visioned for myself. I never plan to get scared of my, my house someday. I, I, I don't want to be scared of my own life. I mean, I'm tired. I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. You don't need to give up, man. Hmm? This is the life you choose. You know, it's a thing to envision a life for yourself and it's another thing to overcome the temptations that come from diverting to the life you envisioned. But you chose this life, so live with it. Um, Steve, uh, I was actually packed here to know if I can um, get some money from you. Even if it means uh, leaving this car with you <laughs> for some time. <laughs> huh? mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, fine. I will give you some money to take care of yourself and do whatever you want. But for my money to go into that list of yours, I will not do it. Never. For real? Ah, for real, bro. I will not do it. I had somewhere going to. All right. Uh, at this point, I will leave you. See you later, Jethro. You are hmm? so the man with the many wives. But you are <laughs> bro. We got this. It's a very special day. I the one. Hey! No! No! Hey! What are you doing? Hey! Hey! Richard, stop! Stop! Richard, what are you doing? And I can forgive, but I will not forgive. Go with the gun. Every 
it is not a joke. If you're not out on the boy, it's a play, it's a play. Engineer, everything's not a joke. If you're not out on the boy, it's a play. Engineer, everything's not a joke. If you're not out on the boy. Yet back. From your faces, including mine, it's obvious we are all worried about him. Speak for yourself, please. I'm Cassie. Actually, for the first time, I agree with you. We are all worried about him. So, what do we do? <laughs> hey! But we asked him to go and look for money. Maybe he has not gotten the money that we asked him to look for now. What do you want him to do? Um, you and I know that this man doesn't have a job. We practically take care of him in this house. Where is the job he wants to go and look for? Eh? You want him to go and rob a bank? Look, I know the intention was to put pressure on him so he will realize his mistake. But for crying out loud, our actions might have psychological effects on him. Listen, we've been talking and talking and talking and talking about this, but we're not doing anything. Sitting down here and not doing anything will not solve it. So what do we do? Should we go out and look for him? You're right. Carol, please, stay in the house. Let's go and look for our husband. Let us know when he comes, okay? Hmm. Oh, Carol, stay at home and wait for our husband. Why does it have to be Carol? Why does it have to be me? Uh, so that both of you can go out and look for him. When you find him, you go and enjoy with him without me. Come this girl. Are you always this stupid or is this seasonal? No, it comes and goes. Because every time you open your mouth, you talk like a child. Like someone without brain. And that, 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 that happened with him. We are talking about a missing man. A man we've not seen for, 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 for a whole day. Going out to look for him, you're talking about going to have fun. Yo, 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 no, 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 a minute. So you think if we want to have fun with our husband, we have to take permission from you? Eh, 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 eh. Oh, no, 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 at least for the first time, yeah. I see who has sense in nice, this house. Nice people, stupid girl. Look at them. Love the dog. Who Look at her pregnancy hey. like school. Uh, jealousy. Is it easy? If it's easy, go run up. No sense. If you want to go look for one stupid man. Exactly my point. If it's not working out, walk away. If you've tried all you can and he's still not moving as we planned it, walk away. Walk away for because of your mental health. <sighs> I know. But sometimes love is not enough. Okay? You just have to let go so that everyone can rest. You've tried. Alright, no problem. Talk to you later then. Okay. Oh, God. Hmm. 
He's awake. Jethro is easy. Relax, you back here. Relax. Oh my God. Thank God. Ah, you scared the living daylight out of all of us. We thought we lost you. So, if the both of them hadn't gone out to look for you, nobody would have known that anything bad had happened to you. I'm yeah. tired. I'm sick and tired of living like this. I know what I did to all of you is wrong. Totally unacceptable. But please, I'm begging you all right now. Spare my life. Spare my mental health. Because I'm losing it. I am willing to do anything you all want me to. Just to get my mental health back. Please. Please. We are all victims of the same man. And why we have decided to fight ourselves instead of fighting the person who has put us through this mess is what I don't understand. But rather we have been busy destroying ourselves, competing with ourselves, fighting ourselves over a man who does not value us. And now I'm beginning to wonder for what reason is it worth it? Exactly. We women were supposed to stand for each other. We're not supposed to fight ourselves. A man is using our heads and we're falling for it. What do we stand to gain from all this? It doesn't make any sense at all. Which is why I have made up my mind to leave this house today. I am tired of this mess. I am tired of this whole charade and I am done with. I'm not against polygamy. But what I do not understand in this whole buhaha is your reason for doing all this. Prevent. Revenge? Yes. What do you mean by revenge? Some years back I met a girl mm -hmm. called Chizuba. I fell in love with her. I loved her so much. I saw her through school and also took care of her family. When she was done with school and started working already, at the point I, I was exhausted because I spent everything I had on me, on her and her family. I proposed to her, but then she refused. She said I was not man enough. I wasn't her kind of man. I was not the kind of man she dreamt of spending the rest of her life with. I was broken. I 
and I swore to make women suffer for what you put me through. I'm so sorry it had to be you all. But notwithstanding, I love you all differently. Jethro. You are the most stupid man I have ever seen on planet Earth. I am going to leave this house. Today too. Yes. Thank you. As you can see, I yeah, am. Yeah. So you're finally going to your sister's place, uh, mm -hmm. And you? I'm going to my friend's place. From there, I'll pick up my life. Well, hard luck. Hard luck to you too. Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh my god. I want to do Get it, get it. Let's go. What do you do? Let's take her to the hospital. Where is the hospital? Which hospital are you in? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Just try, you know try. Let me, let me find a taxi. I just went out to the car. Oh, let me get a taxi. Get out, get out outside, okay? Outside. Oh, 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 Okay, okay, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, fine. Okay, so calm down. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm breaking me. Oh, telling me. Concentrate on your baby that is coming, your beautiful, innocent baby, okay? Just, just calm down, just calm down. Just, I'm rubbing it, I'm rubbing it. Listen, listen, it's okay. Charles, the minute you get the labor room, you're having contractions. The minute you get to the labor room, relax and then push. Don't be apprehensive. It's not good for the baby, alright? Where is the nurse now? Don't they have a nurse in this hospital? Where have you been? How did you leave your table? This is an emergency. So what will happen to a pregnant woman? That's why I'm running up and down. After calling his mama, he's not feeling up. What kind of work is he doing? Are you for work here? She's a pregnant lady. You know what? You know what? Nurse Amanda, follow me to the labor room immediately. I'll do it. I am a certified doctor. Are you going to stand here and question me, or go into the labor room with me? Jokes apart, 
I know we don't agree on so many things, but this is a life matter. We are talking about someone's life. Are you sure you are a certified doctor? I am a certified doctor. I don't understand why you are questioning me. Why not come here with me and find out yourself of a zealous human being? Eh, 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 eh. Don't go there. Don't go there with me. 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 Don't go it's just you and I. You and I in this whole world. Just you and me. Yeah. Hey, Mom. Okay. Okay, I'll bring that today. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I want to take the distance of your baby. Okay. Sure. What's the baby's name? Arrow. His name is Hero. He's my hero. Oh, okay. Sorry. And your name? Oh, Stephanie Donald. Sorry. Okay. Oh. Your father's name? I am my son's mother and father. Put my name in both places. Okay. Thank you. Remember is your man. Alright. Thank you. I'm sorry for everything I've done. I'm sorry for deceiving you. I'm sorry for bringing you down here and everything you had to go through. I'm sorry. I regret all of my actions and I sincerely wish you stay. Well, Jethro, I, I bear no grudge against you. I was angry with you, but not anymore, because I realized I was losing myself in the process. I can't be you, and I cannot be who I want to be because of how I feel. So it's fine. I have to leave. Are you divorcing me? It's for the good of everybody. I'll get the papers ready and sign them. I will also send yours to you so you can sign. Please, endeavor to sign the papers so we can set each other free. Amanda is staying. You have your other wives. Alright, I will always come and visit. But I'm sorry, I cannot be your wife. Please, for a change, do right by them. You are handsome, <sighs> but you are Take care of me. Enjoy your mind, it gives you joy. It don't care about people, emotions, it's a play. What is wrong with you? You want more. You don't care. You don't think. Before you act, something is wrong. Somewhere. Somewhere.
Something is wrong Somewhere It's a player It's a player Engineer Everything is not a joke If you're not a son of a boy It's a player It's a player Welcome back. It's good you came back. If you cannot handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. I'm just pained that that I left him. But it's okay. It is what it is. Thank you for taking my advice. I'm happy about that. All will be fine. Hello? Anyone home? Yes. 
what they want. And what are you doing here, Jetro? I was not expecting to see you guys here. I only came to see Carol and my my child. My son. My son. My darling son. Hey. Say hello to daddy. He's just like me. Listen, this will be the last time you ever see, touch, or feel this baby. When he's old enough, he'll decide whether you're his father or not. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for everything I did. I'm truly sorry. All of you, I, I want you all to forgive me, please. Please. Jethro. Can't you say it's too late to apologize? See what you brought upon yourself. You think you were smart. Trying to get it all. Now you're going to end up alone, frustrated, and you're going to die lonely. Get out. I said, get out. Listen, in your next life, if there is, you will learn to forgive and not take revenge. Get out. Out! That's preferred. 